Hey there, old chicken nuggets. It's me, Coral. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Coral. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey, I'm walking here! Holy moly, these cars are flying around here like crazy. Hey y'all, how you doing? Where am I? Funny you should ask. Well, I'm at a place I've never been before. You want me to give you some hints? All right, here you go. First hint, this city both has stars in the sky and on the ground. Can't guess yet? How about this? It's the birthplace of the internet. Oh, come on, I thought for sure that would give it away. All right, last hint. The city is also known as Hollywood. That's right, I am in the great city of Lost Angels. Carl! Jada, so good to see you. Same here. Wait, are you in LA? Yep, Hollywood. Lost Angels. You mean Los Angeles? Um, <laughs> no, Lost Angels. That's why I'm here. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm following you. Let me explain. You see, I was reading the Bible recently and I came across a story where an angel gave this guy a message. The guy didn't believe in the angel, so uh, he couldn't talk anymore. And that's where I got like all confused and lost in the story. Okay, but how did you end up in Lost Angels? Because I needed help. That story made no sense to me. What, like, what if an angel shows up and gives me a message and I can't understand them? So I went on the internet and I searched for, why am I lost angels? And boom, this city popped up. That sort of makes sense, I guess. But I'm sorry to burst your bubble, Carl, but I don't know if you're gonna find any angels there. What are you talking about? I heard someone say that this is the city of angels. Yes, but that's just a nickname, Lost Angeles means the angels in Spanish. You know, I actually think I know what story you read, and if you've got a second, I think I can help you understand it. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, but let's make it quick. I gotta search for some uh, messages. All right, well, were you reading out of Luke chapter one when you first heard that story? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Now, it's important to know that this story takes place before Jesus was born. This actually starts off with a priest named Zachariah. Yep, that's him. Now, both him and his wife Elizabeth really wanted children, but they were very old and it didn't look like it was ever going to happen. Yeah, I remember that part. Such a bummer. It must have been sad. Yeah, right? And one day, Zechariah was at the temple and burning incense, and this is when Zechariah's life changed forever. I remember that too, Jada. Come on, get to the angel part of the story. Suddenly, an angel appeared right before Zechariah. Well, that was quick. Zechariah was filled with fear. He had never seen anything like this. Then the angel said this, do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you and many will rejoice because of his birth for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. Isn't that awesome? I mean, he and his wife finally got to have a kid. It was such great news, but... You see, this is where I started to get confused because Zechariah didn't trust the angel, did he? Sadly, no. Zechariah couldn't believe it. I mean, he and Elizabeth were very old and having a kid at their age wasn't a common thing. The angel told him his name was Gabriel and that God had sent him to share this good news. But since Zechariah didn't believe it, the angel told him he will not be able to speak until his son is born. Oh, like he'll just have to like whisper or be quiet? Nope, he wouldn't be able to speak even if he wanted to. God was going to use Zechariah to share a message even without using his words. When he came out of the temple, people could tell he had a vision, but he couldn't use his words like he used to. In fact, Zechariah wasn't able to speak until baby John was born. So here's the thing. Yeah, what's up? Well, one, is God gonna take my voice away if I don't believe everything? No, no, of course not. But God wants us to trust. And sometimes we need encouragement from God to do that. Sometimes it's a lesson at school, a reminder from our parents. And for Zechariah, it was not being able to talk. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But what about the story altogether? Well, what do you mean? Well, I started reading this chapter because I thought the gospels were all about Jesus. You know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And now I'm learning about this random baby named John? What's happening here? 
Well, Carl, have you ever heard of John the Baptist? <laughs> have I heard of John the Baptist? I'm waiting with hey, Jada, who do you think you're talking to? I'm Carl. Cool Carl. And John the Baptist is like one of the most courageous dudes in the Bible. He helped prepare the way for Jesus. He helped pave the way for Jesus' ministry, for goodness sakes. Of course, I know who John the Baptist is. <gasps> oh, are you telling me this whole time that baby John is John the Baptist? Yep, that's what I'm telling you. No way, that's amazing. God had this plan the whole time. This beautiful couple that could never have kids is now having a kid. And that kid grows up to tell people all about Jesus. This is so, this is so incredible. It really is, and you said it right before. God has a plan and we see throughout the Bible that it all revolves around one person, Jesus. So I hope that makes the story make a bit more sense, Carl. It does. Thanks, Jada. Anytime. Now, are you going to be heading back home? I don't think so. Not yet anyways. I got a feeling there's a message for me in this city and I'm going to find it. Okay, well, be safe and call me when you do, okay? Sure will. Thanks, Jada. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see that Carl is discovering all types of new things. But today I want us to remember our big idea, which is Jesus is God's plan. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus is God's plan. Great job, everyone. Now make sure to tune in to Grow TV next week to see what Carl finds in the City of Angels. See you later. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow